Hello and welcome back to The Wellness Check. Today's video is going to be about brain spotting and anyone who might be thinking about starting a brain spotting journey with their therapist, but also feeling very nervous about having to talk about the really hard things. Truth is, is that some people walk into a therapist's office, a trauma therapist's office, and they're ready. Maybe they've done years of therapy. Maybe this is their first time, but they... They know exactly how they feel, why they feel that way. They talk about it. They're very verbose about it. It's, a, it's not necessarily a challenging th thing for them to talk about the traumas at stake, right? And that's fine. But also there are people that are very trepidatious going into therapy. They've been sitting on it for months or years and it takes a lot of courage to make that first call to say, hey, I think I want to come see you. What do I have to do to get an appointment started? Even that can be anxiety provoking because knowing that you're going to make an, a, a commitment to therapy, especially trauma therapy with brain spotting or EMDR or anything like that, you know you're going to have to talk about or think about the really traumatic stuff, the really hard stuff that we've tried really hard to keep bottled in, stuffed down. So I wanted to just talk about what it's like with brain spotting for individuals who are very uncomfortable talking about, thinking about, or even experiencing a memory relating to their trauma. Um, and I think in previous videos, you've heard me talk about the differences between going straight up the mountain by using an activation spot versus going around the mountain with a resource spot. Today, we're talking about the resource spot. What is that? Well, first, let me, I guess, contrast that or compare that with the activation spot. When we're looking for an activation spot, in brain spotting, if this is our visual field that we're working with, the therapist and client work together to find the exact spot in their visual field where an associated memory or feeling or experience is, right? Many, I've done many videos on what's that, what that's like. So as there is an activation spot, where you get right to it and processing starts happening and you know we're working through the trauma at a pretty rapid pace. A resource spot is a spot in your visual field that we find together, right? Same kind of way, but that where you look at it, where it is, feels less activating. I always use the same example, motor vehicle accident. If I'm working with someone who has had a motor vehicle accident, we can find the activation spot. We'll find it. And sometimes I'll get feedback of, I can't even look there. I can't even look there. I feel like I'm going to have a panic attack, or maybe the person dissociates, or there's something where there's just not a lot of regulation. They're not able to stay grounded enough. So we know where that activation spot is, and we say, okay. Let's try to find the resource spot. So when you think about the motor vehicle accident, I'm going to help you find a spot in your visual field that you still are able to attune to that spot. You're still physically kind of responding to it, but you're well within the window of tolerance. It just feels less activating. So we work on finding that spot. And it's different for everybody, and it's different for everybody's specific memory that we're working with. Um, but we find that spot and we lock in on that spot and we're really attuned with the target that we're working on, the motor vehicle accident, the whatever, whatever, the feelings in your body, the how activating is it. We're getting a lot of feedback from our clients on how does it feel to look at the spot. And we're letting the processing roll along, but it feels so much more tolerable. And that's the analogy of like, if this is the mountain we have to climb to work through processing this material, we can take the straight up way. We can go right to the activation spot. And some people are gung-ho about it and want to just get it done and over with as, as quick as possible. They can, they can really tolerate it. Whereas the resource spot people really need to kind of go up and around the mountain. It gives them more time. Um, we're able to kind of coach some regulation, emotional regulation resources along the way. It's more paced for um, this type of client that just needs extra support and extra grounding. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
both ways, both activation and resource spot will get you to where you need to be. It's just a matter of the personality. It's a matter of the content that's coming up. And what's even cooler, you know, I get excited when I talk about brain spotting, is that you can kind of dance back and forth. So I'll do this a lot where someone really like wants to try. They just want to try the activation spot. They're like, okay, like, let's, let's do it. Let's give it a try. And we hang out here at the activation spot for a few seconds, a few minutes, whatever. And we've already established where the activation spot and where the resource spot is. They know, they know where that is. So they'll come up here and they'll stay in activation spot for a little bit. And intuitively, intuitively, or as we've, kind of taught them throughout the way. They say, okay, I'm feeling a little too much. This is too much processing is too much. I, I need to come down. And what they'll do is they'll just kind of bring their gaze here to their resource spot. And they'll hold it down here and it feels so much better. You can see their body language relaxing a little bit, but they're still processing the material. So we see, we see the heart rate come down. We see the breathing start to relax. We see the shoulders coming down. They're sinking into their seat. And then all of a sudden, they want to try uh, activation spot again. So you'll see their eyes kind of come back up. And interchangeably, you can do that. You can dance between the activation spot and the resource spot. And what I've found is that it gives a lot of people a sense of control, which is, I don't, there's not a lot of people that come in here feeling as though they have control over much in life. So to be able to kind of know where those spots are, to take a seat in my office and to kind of get a feel for what they're capable of doing that day and to give them choices and to have confidence in them that they know when and how to switch. And of course, we're here for, for, for anybody that needs any guidance. It gives them a lot of power and a lot of control over how they are processing something that has been really difficult for them to even tap into at all and the process is amazing to see them kind of dance between the activation and resource or just stay at the resource spot is also really empowering to the client to be able to sit there and process material in a tolerable way in their control they hold the reins in the session and they're giving feedback to me throughout the process of what they're experiencing what does it feel like we can take breaks as you need to it's totally fine so I just wanted to share that as, um, I don't know, just a tidbit of information for those who have really difficult stories to tell, who maybe haven't shared this with any other human on the planet, who find it difficult to find the words. This is a really, really empowering and effective way to work through that trauma staying in a tolerable tolerance to what's coming up. And we are right there every step of the way with you, watching, um, mediating, and checking in with you. So it's just really cool. I love the resource spot. Um, if you are a brain spotting therapist, uh, I hope that, that you enjoy that aspect of brain spotting as well. And if you're someone who's looking into brain spotting, with a brain spotting therapist, be sure to ask them about the resource spot because it can't hurt. It can't hurt to just know where it is in your visual field. Um, if you're if you're processing something that all of a sudden feels more activating than you anticipated and you need to take a break, it's more effective to go to the resource spot than to just stop altogether. So it's good to just kind of know in your visual field for that target, for what you're focusing on where both the spots are. It's really neat. And I'm glad that's an option. I'm so glad that's an option for everybody. Okay, so there it is, the tidbit of information regarding resource spot for brain spotting. Um, I hope that it helps. I hope that it guides you in the right direction and you kind of know what to expect should you go into a therapist's office. All right, thank you for checking in with your wellness. I'll see you soon.